Well, good day, everybody. Hope you all are doing well out there, out in the world. Thought I would do a little update, let you know what's going on before I put my nose to the grindstone on this RV here. Things got a little slow because of funds, but thanks to you buying stickers, we're looking much better. I also got some oil changes done. I also canceled insurance on Jimmy since that shot up to about 70 bucks. Thanks to the economy, I called them to make sure it wasn't something I did. And they're like, no, things are, everything's getting more expensive. So I said, I gotta cancel it. I don't drive that truck enough to make it that worth it. Plus it's 20 bucks every time I go to town. So no more Jimmy for a little while, but that's fine. We can get rides and it'll help me save a lot of money. And uh, yeah, we're looking much better for patches and everything I need to get her sealed up, boxed up, and drivable again. That's my goal this year with patches is to have a reskinned, painted, primered, hopefully primered and painted, and drivable. Floor done. I'm gonna focus on getting as much done as I can with the time I have. Probably not gonna be on schedule anymore, but hopefully it'll be drivable and painted so I can work in the rain if I'm still here by the time winter comes. Might not make it to Montana on time before uh, they start getting snow. But that's right, I'm, I'm just trying to not stress myself, I'm trying to just focus one job at a time. I'm about to finish up a bunch of welding and get to grinding, sealing holes. I want everything, I want all the sheet used up. I want all the holes patched, everything welded. So there's lots coming up. So yes, thank you everybody very much for buying stickers. That's helped out a lot. I'm actually liking the, the eBay selling, so. Hope everyone's enjoying their stickers. We'll have more on the way. I send these business cards with the stickers just so y'all have my email, just in case. That is a picture of actual patches. That is a picture of patches from the second story of old house as she was sitting out on the street after I just bought her. She still had her air conditioner units and the roof was still uh, silver from being a bare sheet of aluminum. And here we are now. Oh, so anyway, yeah, these, I would like to make a sticker with just patches. Oh, it's a deer. A noisy old deer just nibbling away. Uh, so yeah, I am enjoying selling stickers. Can't wait to make some of patches. I would like one of patches. That's a pretty good picture. Also had some fun doing a couple product reviews. Thought I'd change it up a bit. We got one or two more coming. I need to do a solar install because I told them I would. With the Bouge RV solar panels, be sure to check them out. They helped out the channel big time by hooking us up with some solar panels. This is a big help. Be sure to check them out for so your solar panel needs. Bougie RV. So we're doing install and then possibly one more product review and that's it. I'm burnt out on the reviews. I do not have the time to do the reviews. I need to focus on making videos of patches, keep you guys updated in vlogs. Uh, the products help out a ton. Some great upgrades for the rebuild. Pretty cool, helps out the channel big time. Check them out, but that's it. I don't have any more time for... We got just one more coming up and then we're gonna focus solely on getting this thing built. So stay tuned, we're gonna pick up the pace here. Thank you everybody for helping out with the stickers and we're gonna get patches driving hopefully by the end of the year i'd say it's definitely doable it's gonna need to hook up a switch and a key or just a key and a button main goal is to drive this at least once before the end of the year because my, my license plate tags are up in december so i need to drive this at least once or i also wasted uh like 300 dollars on tags which will bother me so that's the goal at least drivable Hopefully painted, primered. We'll see. Stay tuned. Um, we got a little vlog here. It's a, older than this video. But it's a little bit what I've been doing in my spare time. Uh, I think maybe there's a little bit of cooking. So anyway, enjoy. We'll see you in the next video. In the next rebuild video. Alright, beat that one. That was actually a hard game to beat. Boy, I got good with this stick. 
This uh, horse fly. I, I saw the white horse, Sadie, acting weird, and I noticed there's a fly bug in it, and all of a sudden the horse shot off running around in circles and back into the barn. And I realized that it was a big old thing was a horse fly. Kept seeing that land over here. I couldn't, these things are too fast, I can't get them by hand. So uh, anyway, came out here, saw it sitting right there. Grab my fancy uh, fly swatter. Got yeah, a crazy looking face on it. Kinda looks like it's wearing a helmet. Big ol' eyes. I got it! No more! No more bites from this horse fly. See that? See this stupid little thing? You see that? I trimmed their tails a little bit too. Jax's tail was dragging on the ground. And, um, needed a little trim. Stop playing, I took it. Sadie's. Figured I'd give her horse or tail a trim. Just a little trim. About to get cutting on some steel here to finish up the windows. You will probably already have that video. I just do these vlogs in between spare time when I run to town. There. That was supposed to be one and a half inch. That is one and a quarter. How did I not notice that? So yeah, one and a half inch. We got. Uh, this is for closing the gap on that window um i would take this back but you know that'll actually work perfect for my doorstop i needed a thick piece um to raise up the doorstop so there's room for in uh weather stripping oh back to down so yeah if i rip that in half that'll be a perfect spacer for building my doorstop so i need to go back for that one and a half inch by quarter inch, this is half inch. Also, finally got some boards that I think will work good for the frame on the souvenir pieces that I'm making. So, those might, uh, that's actually gonna be a video in itself, making those. We're gonna do a little something for dinner or lunch or whatever. Uh, I guess this should be it's probably technically my lunch had a pink salmon last night and it was pretty dang good it actually tasted like salmon it was a lot like sardines in the can these are cooked in the can probably like the sardines um, and they just fall apart they're cooked all the way through the spine the bones are all edible and it's just a big old you know it came out as like a you know just a couple couple big chunks of salmon really good i remember the pink salmon being a lot cheaper than the red salmon so we're gonna try the red salmon today and see what the difference is. Something weird about these cans too is the red salmon is shaped like a Dixie cup. It feels like I'm holding a styrofoam. I think that's what they're called, Dixie cup. It's, so it stores better? I don't know. It is strange though to hold a can that's shaped like a Dixie cup. Split it up and put it on some bread with coleslaw and mayonnaise. It was very good. Tartar sauce would probably be great, but I don't have any. So that was what I did yesterday. There's a little different smell to that than the other one. A little different color on the uh, juice as well. Yeah, that's got a little different look to it, huh? So went ahead and drank all that oil. It was pretty good, actually. I'm also starving, so. Everything's gonna taste good right now. Maybe that's why it's shaped like a Dixie cup. So you can have yourself some salmon drink. Ah, oily, fishy. Yep. Came out easier than the other one. Maybe that's why that's shaped like that. All right, there we go. Some salmon crammed in a can. Oh yeah, okay, I can tell the difference. Like in color. 
They're pretty good. But I actually think I like the pink salmon better. Which is a whole lot cheaper. Get some bone. Mm, yeah, you just eat that with the fork. Some crackers or something would be nice though. Some kind of side, maybe a salad? I'm gonna do a salad. Maybe put it on a salad. Got two slices of potato bread. Got mayonnaise on both sides. Probably be good with some tartar sauce on one side, but uh, I am all out. In fact, we're kind of out of everything right now. It's, I need to go grocery shopping. Broccoli, coleslaw, a little cheddar, uh, sharp cheddar. Put a little on there. And it's good with the pink salmon. Some coleslaw. Save this for later. All right, a little cheddar cheese, and I just remembered I have uh, pickle relish, and that might be kind of good. All right, there we go. Poor man's dinner and lunch. Salmon sandwich. Very good. Got an old barbecue. I'm gonna scrap for get some steel off of it. Maybe that side burner. Side burner, I think, is still good, so I might try using that. Yeah. Pacific Northwest. Alright, just loaded up the Tomb Raider 2 since I beat the first one. I beat Fear Effect. That was a pretty good game. Not nearly as good as this Tomb Raider. Um, Tomb Raider 2. Boy, and I'm already having some crazy nostalgia flipping through this manual. I always check out the manuals on the really good games. This is the only manual I can think of right now anyway um, that has advertisements in it. Which aren't too bad. I mean, they're selling Laura Croft merch. I wonder if that's still floating around somewhere, like on eBay or something. Probably really expensive. Boy, I wish I could have gotten my hands on some of this stuff back in the day. But I was so young, I... No job, no money. $200 for those Laura Croft, Laura Croft sunglasses. That's crazy. Briefcase. A whole bunch of Laura Croft merch. That's so cool. Tomb Raider merch. And then we got this uh, centerfold thing. Yeah, I definitely looked through this as a kid. Everything is so familiar. Especially this. I you know, probably stared at this for longer than I should have, but... Yeah, Witchblade! I always wanted to check out Witchblade. I'll have to look into that a little later. But yeah, look at this bunch of advertisements. But they're uh, not too bad. They are, uh, you know, showcasing other cool games. Um... Tips and stuff. Anyway, we're about to get into this. This is freaking awesome. I love this game. It's gonna bring me back. Way back. This is the most nostalgia I think I've ever experienced. This is just so cool, playing this game again. I'm not even really playing the game, this is uh, her mansion, where you practice, and where you learn some skills, you practice your jump moves and stuff. A lot of secrets here too, if I remember, remember correctly where they are. I know there's secrets here for sure. I just don't remember what they are or where they are. I think beating this... Uh, time, or beating her best time, I think will open a door or something. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up, but for right now I'm just going to play through like I did back in the day. Oh, this game is just... Amazing. Really, really nostalgic. When I first played this game as a kid, I, I just... Spent the first couple days just 
playing around in this mansion. The first game has a, a mansion too, but it's kind of small. There's not too much to do there. This mansion is massive. Can't touch the ground. And her butler follows her around, which is just really cool. It just adds a little something in the background. Some background activity. Okay, don't step on the dirt. Oh yeah, sidestep is a little different. Yeah, this, I needed this. This was, oh, and I can see your kitchen in there. The kitchen tile. I don't know why, but that really. Everything about this, the netting on the wooden blocks, the wooden block themselves, the way she climbs. She got a ponytail now that flips around. Such a cool game. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Dang it. Oh, wait. Time is still going. Did I beat it? Congratulations, you did it. But perhaps I could have been faster. Oh yes, I remember this so much. I don't remember what the time is I have to beat, but uh, I can beat a time and... Feel um, free to explore the rest of the house and gardens. Oh gosh, this is all... I have not seen this scenery in so many years. And it is just... <laughs> Nourishment for my soul. As a kid, I would ex go explore every corner. It's like, what's over here? Nothing? Oh, well, let's check out the vines. Just did, when I was a kid, I'd really admire... Uh, I don't know, I played Myst for the PC as a kid at some point. I played a demo for it first, or I watched a demo for it on the Sega Saturn demo disc that was mostly videos, I think, or it was all videos. I eventually played it on the PC and you could, uh, there's an Easter egg in the disc. If you, op if you explored the disc and looked at the files, you could find a video and it showed how games are made or how it showed the making of Myst, but the behind the scenes. And I was fascinated by that. Watching these guys sit at a computer and craft the landscape and build mountains and how it all looked like just you know, sticks and the mountains didn't have color or anything. They were just like first like outlines of just a basic structure. And anyway, I think it increased my passion for video games and just admiring how, you know, how it's all, how it looks and how well it's done. So anyway, a little, a little something to share with you guys. This is, I forgot how, it's, you know, I was not expecting so much nostalgia from this. I, had for, I knew I loved this game, but I'd forgotten how much. But this is the front door switch. Let's go inside. Yeah, this is such a nostalgic experience right now. From the experience, I'm going to enjoy this to myself and, uh, just relax. I haven't been doing too much relaxing lately. I've been very busy and... And the rain came, so yeah. That ticking is going to put me to sleep. Like, uh... Yeah, he also farts. This game is just great. keep wanting to call him Alfred. I don't know if his name is Alfred. Oh, yes, the big kitchen with these massive countertops. I mean, look, <laughs> countertops are kind of just weird, like, it's, it looks like a sink she could take a bath in. I mean, that, that sink is the size of a bath. And that faucet is the size of, like, three quarters of her body. A little disproportionate, but I love it. And here's the freezer where we lock in Alfred. 
because at some one point I was just tired of him following me around. As a kid, I remember him creeping me out. Like, I don't know why, but the way he walks, slowly following me everywhere, just creeps me out a little bit. As a kid, it really creeped me out. I don't know why. Ah, lots of meat. So anyway, there's a way to get Alfred in here. Yep, this right here is so nostalgic, watching him walk in here. There's Alfred, lock him in the freezer. Seems like, uh, creep me out. This game is just glorious. Let's close the freezer. Just gonna check out this kitchen a little while longer. Look at all our fresh veggies or herbs. Got some herbs hanging up there. Can we go outside? Oh, automatic door. Oh, music, yes, that's right. Push the button. Love this game. I will put this right up there with Fallout 3. She's a classy lady, a sophisticated lady. I love this music too. This is good. Oh yeah, and her pool. It's a nice touch. You got a little echo in here. It's a good, uh, adds to the atmosphere. Hard to see in that corner. Yes, her attic. Also nostalgic every inch of this place. I love it. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to enjoying this game. A little taste of what I'm doing in my downtime. It's still looking like rain out there. It doesn't look like there is grease fittings on anything. Well, here's two, but there's no way I'm ever going to get to those. Not with my gun. I'd need like a... I don't know what would get in there. One on the top and one on the bottom. I'll have to save that for later. Actually, might be a chance we're getting an ATV lift, oh, so that would be really handy. I wonder if those are on the front. Does not look like it. Well, you grease Jimmy up all up here. Fifty more of these somewhere down here. I was gonna squirt a little W for you on there, but that cleaned up really nice.
Okay, got that. I forgot how good this game is. They did a really good job with this. I didn't realize it as a kid, but this was a... Uh, this was one of the great ones. I'd put this right up there with Fallout 3, which blows my mind. I was not expecting this great nostalgic adventure. God, the music and the... I want to go see Venice now. Forgot yet uh, to use my health, some health packs. They don't give you as much in this game. It makes it a little more challenging. In the first game, you had tons of health packs and ammo. It made it almost a little too easy. This game is challenging. And it is addicting. Load. What in the world? Did I do that? Or did she just randomly do that? That was very, uh, very eloquent. Huh. I don't remember her ever doing that before. Why did she do that? This game is so cool. Fancy pull up there. Why did she do that? I don't remember ever seeing her do that move. That's gonna have me uh, I'll be wondering forever what the heck. Must be just a random thing she does. Let's see here, how do I do a dive? Oh, there we go. You gotta hold the R1 button. That's <laughs> so cool. I think the pink salmon is in oil too. It's just a little more watery, I think. A little thinner oil. So we're gonna try out some pink salmon tonight. It's either this or burgers again. I'm gonna take a break from burgers and make a little fish sandwich. All right, got that oil drained off.
It's like a salmon cylinder. It's like a cylinder of salmon. It's really good though. I like this more than the uh, red salmon. Seems like this is more of a white meat. Yeah, very good. Pretty good meat for having just come right out of a can. Little mayonnaise, coleslaw. I'm gonna try some relish this time on one side. Just gonna break this up a little bit. Spread it out. Looks good. Save the rest of this for tomorrow. Do a little cheddar cheese. That was a pretty good salmon sandwich. I like it. Alright, you guys stay tuned. We're going to be focusing on building that RV. And the vlogs, uh, we'll be taking a break from the vlogs for just a little bit. But we'll get back to them as soon as I get a bunch of work done. And get ourselves closer to hitting the road. Finally. Hopefully. This year. We'll at least get it drivable again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.